This is the Opie and Anthony Show. Rocks. Yeah. We are back. Well, look at this. What is this video, people? Andrew Lincoln coming in. Where is he? Is he uh, run just way. around the corner? Is he in so. the bulldog? Is he in the bulldog? I don't know the show, but you know the show, all right? Oh, yeah. Because I've heard of it. Love it's it. supposed to be a great show. Love it. Effects are great. It's on um, AMC. It's 9 o'clock on Sundays. It's about zombies, right? Yeah. How many seasons is it? Uh, they are uh, in their, th I believe this is the third season. Technically. This the, is first like was, uh, the first season was a very short season. And the second season uh, was your normal season. That one just ended. Uh, and then the, we had the premiere of the uh, new season. And uh, man, man, if you got that one DVR'd, uh, you're going you're gonna to enjoy it. Because uh, I love when they do stuff on shows that are just brutal and you don't see it on on other tv shows right because they're just brutal especially when they involve like children <laughs> they do that on this <laughs> oh boy do they ever i really should I watch it because i've heard a lot of good things about it i just i yeah. haven't avoided it i just haven't seen it yet characters are uh, pretty cool uh they change throughout the show too because you know it's, it would be a pretty drastic situation fucking zombies I was having some uh, some thoughts about zombies and, and what the hell's going on, and and uh, I was tweeting last night. What happens? Let's say, because I see people in all kinds of zombie movies and, and shows, and even on uh, Walking Dead, uh, they kill a zombie, and then they're lugging the zombie around and throwing him around and putting him in a truck, and then they drive and they throw him on a fire or something like that, and like they're kind of willy nilly with the zombie. Now, what happens if his tooth? Like swings, like you got him hanging you know, by his legs and you're going to throw him, and his tooth nicks your shin oh. and cuts your leg with his tooth after he's, you know, re-dead again, you know. Uh, are you are you going to be uh, turned into a zombie? I noticed on the season premiere, uh, the girl was was just very okay with just picking up that picking up the arm, arm and just that fell out of the truck. In. Well, how does this get, thing get transferred? What makes you a zombie? Is it through blood? Oh, yes. it's blood. Yeah, and that's another thing. If you have a cut on you, because people are all cut up, they're battling zombies for God's sake, and then they're they're uh, hitting these zombies over the head with various things. And, and splatter gets blood on the splatter. End. What's the difference if blood splatter gets in an open wound? I'd be walking around in an outbreak suit. You should put this on on the new website. Things dorks say. <laughs> <laughs> I do. It's called Twitter. I do it all all the time. I tweet this stuff constantly. Yeah, this is mm. great. You and your friend can wear cloaks and sit around on a Friday night and talk about what ifs with cloaks? zombies. <laughs> I'm gonna wear a cloak. Yeah, maybe you hold a flashlight in between you. <laughs> what if a zombie was bleeding? I, I don't know. <laughs> no, I, but I don't know the answer to that question. I would say it's a good question but it's it's a very childish question but i wish i had an answer for you i don't the oddest thing is that uh, this there there is a zombie craze that's going on and uh i, I know the, the vampire thing is very uh, attached to the young girl kind of uh demo sure but i think it's like guys have this infatuation with zombies because I think, you know, secretly they would love a zombie invasion. It seems like fun, doesn't it? Because you're allowed to just hit them with a bat yeah. and nobody says anything. It would right. be so great just to beat the shit out of these things. Yeah, and, and from watching the shows and uh, movies and whatnot, I realized a lot of people act like idiots in these, and that's how they get fucked up. So I honestly don't think, given in these zombie situations, that I would be fucked up in there. I don't know if I would or not, but a zombie... Don't laugh at me. <laughs> Shut up, you watch wrestling guy. Exactly, you dated a zombie. <laughs> uh, they just kind of fall down, they lay in bed with fibromyalgia. Chronic fatigue. What's that? Fatigue. Whatever it was. Oh, he's sleepy. <laughs> what a bum. She was probably hooking all night. That's why your girlfriend was out taking loads all night for money, and then she'd see you and kiss you. She wasn't sleepy. We've been over this. She was sleepy. No. She's a lazy bum. She yeah. would not survive a zombie attack. <laughs> no? No, not a chance. Because, uh... She'd just I, lay there like a lump? She would, yeah, mm. she'd run away, but then she'd fall down, and then a zombie would... It's hilarious. She's like one of those fucking... One of those sheep that gets scared. <laughs> oh, and then they just... Uh, the fainting sheep. <laughs> fainting goats And their, their legs yeah. just go straight up in the air. I, uh... I honestly think... 
I wouldn't make the mistakes that a lot of people made. I know Zombieland kind of put a thing, the rules. Yeah. That was the rules, and double tap is one where they, they always shoot the zombie once and then walk around like everything's hunky-dory. you got to shoot the zombie twice. <laughs> make sure he's dead. Crack that head open, because he winds up getting up and starting to chase you and shit. What gun would you use? Uh, gu as far as guns, there's been... Oh, boy, have I gone through Twitter uh, nights... With nothing more than just conversing what guns would be best in a zombie invasion. I would think shotgun, just because you'd get the most amount of damage, I would think. Yeah, Ooh. a shotgun would be very good in close, closer quarters, though, like mm -hmm. inside a place. Let's say you're at that mall parking lot. Now you're talking a nice uh, Benelli semi-automatic and uh, uh, M4 uh, shotgun, something like that. Uh, that would work great. But uh, if you're in close quarters, I want something very high caliber. Uh, something that's going to really rip that head off, and uh, and an automatic, uh, but uh, also a revolver on the side just in case it jams. And would you have to worry about zombie splatter getting on you in well, case you have open that's, wounds? Well, that's just it. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know that. We'd have to get into a zombie thing, and then that would have to be found out through you know trial and error and some other poor motherfucker. Uh, right. Before we knew if that is the case, I would be more careful than you see these people being. I've actually written a, a, a zombie script. You did? What, what where was bullets it? don't kill the zombie. <gasps> the only way to kill them is to flick their genitals with a spork. <laughs> you have to flick their genitals with a spork. It's a whole different element. A spork? Yeah. And that's how they die? Yeah, they're so embarrassed that you've shown their zombie penis <laughs> and their zombie vaginas. They turn beet red and then they die. Yeah, they die from embarrassment. They'll get uh, sheepish. <laughs> would you bunker down in the compound or would you go bunker out? Bunker down. Uh, you could bunker down. Oh, okay. I think, uh, think you've got to stay on the move, to tell you the truth. Okay. I think you've got to stay on the move. You need a small group with you, let's say. Um, a lot of scavenging has to go on. Ammunition is imperative. I'd say make your way to the gun stores immediately. That's probably the first place you want to go, are the gun stores, because with a gun and bullets, you can get anything else you need. Sure, you know, some, yeah. Some poor bastard walking down the street, some anti-gun person walking down the street, got a fucking, you know, bologna and cheese sandwich. It's mine now. Yeah. Mine, motherfucker. <laughs> but I'm taking it. So you would rob from people. I would fucking do anything it's it takes. It's not a matter of humanity to coming don't together. Don't run into me. <laughs> Why not stay in one place and fortify it? Because it always gets overrun. Once the amount of zombies, if there's a, a, an amount of zombies, they always seem to find their way in somehow, some way. And uh, I think if you stay on the move, uh, so you have, have a better chance. But you'd have to be on the move with multiple firearms on your person. Well, yeah. And you don't so know where to park. Uh, that's me every day anyway at home. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> how do you know Shotgun where to park? To what back. do you mean where to park? Meaning, how do you know, where do you fucking gonna park for the night and relax? You go out to take a shit in the middle of the night and a zombie fucking bites your foot? No, that's why you do, <laughs> you do, the, you're, you're, you're in a war zone, in essence, so you gotta, you gotta camp, you gotta set up perimeters, you gotta maybe go from house to house, you gotta assess the area, are they thick with the walking dead? Is it, uh, you know, sparse? Have you seen a lot of them? And then you set up some kind of perimeter to warn you. How would you travel by foot, automobile, or would you get a horse like the well, guy in the Walking Dead? How about a helicopter? <laughs> you get up in the sky. Yeah, there's no yeah. zombie. You never saw a zombie on a cloud hit a helicopter. <laughs> How come none of these assholes steal helicopters or planes <laughs> to fly where there are no zombies? Because uh, there's always zombies somewhere. Boy, every time they go somewhere, they think there's no zombies. Zombies, they just show up. Yeah. I would take uh, all kinds of transportation based on the needs. Now, if you're if you're just local and you're going around looking for supplies and stuff, I think on foot is fine. Um, rough terrain where you need a horse, yeah, get the get the horse. And then uh, when you're taking a long road trip, you you need that vehicle. Yeah, you need a a, a truck or something. Horses like that. will all be dead because no one feeds them. They'd be wild. They fucking eat grass. They would oh, that's graze. True. Yeah, but you're not, gonna, you're not gonna be able to, <laughs> you're not gonna be able to just take a wild horse. He's probably been running from zombies all day. He's tired. Be like Sam's ex girlfriend, you jump on and just collapses. <laughs> His legs give in. Cracks a rib. Yeah, worthless attention horse. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking whinnying like a queer. I th <laughs> wow, wait. I think. Holy uh, mackerel. Ooh. Ooh. I, think, um, I think a lot of the domestic horses would just go out and graze like they do in pastures on uh, ranches. Yeah. And they'd be uh, totally fine with you uh, shoving a bit in their mouth. That's his girlfriend. Publicist? Wow. Oh. No, I, I hear tell his uh, wife, who he married, is Ian Anderson's daughter. Oh, from, from Jethro uh, Tull. 
Oh. Jethro Tull. She was sitting on dun, a park dun, bench. Dun, 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 dun. I read that on the internet. You did Yay. you? Oh, it better be true. It might not be. Oh, it better be fucking true. But, and this is where your experience is riding horses would come into play. Yes! That's a survival of the fittest I mentality. Have, I have been preparing for this my entire existence, <laughs> and I know it's fake, so that kind of upsets me. Yeah, because but, <laughs> you've done so much work for this. But I've done so much work for this. Well, zombie invasion, home invasion, they both have invasion in it. Right. And you can make both fun. Do you have the same rules for home invaders? I certainly do. <laughs> Double exploding. tap. Double tap, yeah. never take it for granted. Uh, barricades, uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's very similar. Okay. Um, no, I, I think a great, a great weapon is a forty-five, something that's really going to eliminate the head. Um, yeah, and a shotgun. That's what you have to do is eliminate the head to be 100% sure. And who said that? <laughs> who made that rule up? Because, it, yeah, <laughs> they're, they're dead. Just... Why does the brain still like, well, do something for them? See, my thing is where, where there's a big speech at the end Yeah. where the star says to the zombies, oh, you were once like me. What has become of you? Oh, that's good. And they give the slow clap. That's at the end of Rocky good. Four, you could do one of those I like speeches. that. Yeah, like, I didn't understand none of you <laughs> zombies, and you didn't understand me. That's good. And then he looks over, and he sees all the zombies are raping Adrian. <laughs> Infecting oh, her. And uh, in the middle of that conversation, look who's here. How you doing? Hey. Take a seat, sir. We're, uh, we're alive on the air, as a matter of fact. Oh, hey. Hello. We like doing that. Oh, Get yeah. right to it. It's uh, Andrew Lincoln, of course. He plays uh, Sheriff Rick. Sheriff Rick on The Walking Dead. Uh, I'm a huge fan, man. Uh, I've, uh, since the first episode, hooked. Oh, it's another man. one of those shows that, like, and there's been a f very few of them that you watch right from the beginning, and you're just like, all right, I'm in. I'm in. Yeah, it's I mean, it, it, Well, I'm glad you say I mean, it, for me as well, it was the, exactly the same experience. All I mean, right, take the silly voice off. Come on. Yeah, I know. Well, I, well, I haven't seen the show. Do you speak? <laughs> uh, no, have you spoken to John Bernthal as well? You've had him on the show. Because <laughs> yeah, yeah. he said, we just ripped it out of you. <laughs> yeah. The fact that you're a limey. Basically, yeah. You don't sound like that on the show? No, he sounds like a guy from the South. No, I do a, I do a Southern accent. So. You do it very well. Well, thank you. And thank I, you. I have oh. my I have my sne sneaking suspicions. There's a couple other people in that cast that have uh, English accents. Uh, who do you think? I believe the uh, daughter of uh, of uh, the farmer. Good spot. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Stringer Bell. All right. Stringer Bell. <laughs> Stringer Bell. Probably right. wrong show. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, no, that was uh, it's a credit to you, my friend, because uh, oh, I, you, I did not even know. I, I'm always amazed by that. I, I, I guess a lot of Americans are. Well, it's uh, it's such an honor to be able to sort of be you know play American in your country, and you don't you know I've got enough to worry about with the zombies. Yeah, let, exactly. Let alone sort of getting a dialect right. Exactly. So. Uh, I I watched uh, the season premiere just last night. Had it DVR'd, and um, wow, just amazing. And again, The Walking Dead. And I was saying to Jimmy, one of these shows that are willing to do things that other shows will not do. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and it gives you those, what I call, uh, and it is subtle, I could say this, holy shit moments, <laughs> where you're just looking and you're like, what the... No, they didn't just do that. Yeah. Oh, that was a brutal uh, scene. Well, the, uh, the, 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 the end bar, of the ballroom uh, scene? The, the end of the last season and the beginning of this season, yeah. uh, the yeah. barn scene. Oh, yeah. Where yeah, you have to Sophia. take care of business with Sophia. Yeah, another uh, minor killing. Oh, yeah. yeah, another child, child killing, yeah. being killed. It's, Rick uh, Grimes, constantly, yeah. And you, dispatching <laughs> the children. Yes, and you're so toiled over it. <laughs> you're not quite a uh, the typical hero guy. No. You're, you're very troubled you're mm. you're you're uh you're indecisive a lot of times about things you don't come off as he's this actually a useless leader yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. he's the worst leader the don't worst listen leader to him ever when will uh, people get wise and go don't <laughs> listen to him if he says i guarantee something never do it it's not gonna happen that die. way yeah. <laughs> it's uh it is odd though that that this uh type of hero in a show is not really a uh, kind of hero no. Did, you, did you have it pegged as, as that when you first read for the uh, That's role? why I liked it. Well, I, I, it's based on this comic book, so this yeah. hugely successful comic book se uh, series. And I loved it. He's just an ordinary guy. Right. And, and I read this quote that was really helpful because you know, everyone's going, oh, you're playing this iconic hero. And, I, and it said a hero is a man who does what he can. And I love that. It's so yeah. simple. And it's just like, he just happens to be the guy that when everybody sort of takes a step back, he's the one left going, oh, right. <laughs> yeah, you're so, the process so, of elimination. Yeah, you're it. I'm the guy making the call. And, and it is. It's a fascinating. I love this job. I mean, I love working down in the South, getting eaten by 
you know, chiggers and ticks and all <laughs> yeah, the rest yeah. of it. And, and, and the crew are just magnificent. And it's yeah. just a wild show. It's like nothing I'd ever read before. And it is. It really is. And uh, another thing that makes it is, uh, boy, the special effects are... Yeah. Insanely. How much good. of it is CGI and how much is makeup? Well, I don't. I, a lot. Most of it is makeup, and oh. that's why we shoot on film because mm -hmm. they wanted it to be on Super 16, just so we. There's something tangible about the makeup. Yeah. I mean, Greg Nicotero, who's the guy, who's the guy in charge of the team that do the special effects. He's like the Willy Wonka of gore. <laughs> I mean, the do, He did this seat in the next episode coming up. Uh, we did this night shoot, and uh, and I called it Nose Off Night. And there's one an actor that gets. A gut shot from, um, I'm not going to tell too much, <laughs> but basically he went away 20 minutes and then came back and we were just all having a coffee while they were setting up the shot and he came back without a nose. And it was like the most extraordinary bit, but it, they did it in 20 minutes. Wow! These guys. And it just looked like his nose it, had it's, been. It's horrific. Completely removed. And we all watched it. It's one of the worst things I've ever seen. <laughs> They're biting his nose off in this scene. You <laughs> That's look great. Yeah, yeah. So this is season two. This is season Three. two. Oh, the first season. Uh, the first season. First was short, season was right? like a shortened season. Yeah, they yeah. did six. We did uh, they uh, because Frank and um, they just wanted to, like you say, they wanted to establish this extraordinary world and if you just did one pilot and then mm -hmm. they just wanted time for it to kind of it was a great idea out. to do it that way because yeah like you said with one pilot it could have been a wow that was cool and then people just kind of forget it it gave enough where you got so much character development yeah and you you got invested in the show and it was such a limited amount of episodes you just wanted more great you well, know? That, well, that was absolutely their intention yeah. and i know amc were great at doing that they just said look have six. Yep. D there you go. And, you know, Frank Darabont was just, it is just a magnificent director. Oh, Frank is the one who did, uh, we had him in, he did... Uh, oh, Frank was better? Yeah, Frank was better. <laughs> he did that Stephen King movie, um, which... The, the, the Mist? The oh, Mist. That's correct. Yeah, yeah he came yeah. in, he was actually great, and uh, that was a good movie. The effects were okay, but he said he worked with a really low budget. He said he wished he had more money on that budget, but yeah. Yeah, I like him. He's, oh, very he's good. the best, man. He's it, a, yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a fantastic show. Uh, have you ever been fascinated with zombies or or the such over the uh, over the years? Not really. I'm yeah. being being honest with you. I mean, because I, I, yeah. I was talking about this, we've it's more of a the the European sensibility is like vampires, isn't it? Bram Stoker right, and all that kind of okay. stuff. And I was just trying to work it out if it's. I mean, we don't really have. I mean, of course, I watched the Romeros and uh, the the more sort of campy spoof yeah. things when I was a teenager. But then I didn't really sort of uh, follow it up. Americans fascinated with zombies. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know what that is. Thank God. I yeah. think yeah, and I think Frankly. it goes along with uh, what they call our gun culture, because uh, Americans, you know, we love our guns. Yeah, and I've, I've, uh, no I've noticed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh I, boy, I, I love your guns. <laughs> frankly, <laughs> guns, guns are fantastic. That's and weird. zombies are creatures that you can shoot you without can shoot. repercussions. Yes, yeah. 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 That's with, right. We can get away with murder. With literally, and we yeah. Do. yeah. With uh, murder. And uh, people just seem to like that. And we were talking to before you came in that a lot of people have these kind of zombie contingency plans. And uh, even though they're fictional things, people actually have contingency plans for these uh, things. Yeah. By people, I mean me. Yeah, but, yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Nobody does Wait, but can you. We, can, we, can, we, can we hear them? We, they, they, they might well, I've, I've uh, discussed it many times on Twitter and whatnot, and, and other people do come on board from the institutions. <laughs> I get it because they're <laughs> mental patients. Uh, no, I just think you need... You need now, you, you know this just from the show. You need proper... Arms. You got. You need guns. Yeah. Guns very important. It's hugely important. To, uh, a, bit, a bit loud. You don't want to attract too many of them. That's true too. Silence. Now, guns. So you need some kind of uh, uh, quieter means to remove the head or remove the brain. Yeah. Uh, the crossbow seems to work very well if you're good at it. Yeah. But I don't know many people that would be that good with the crossbow. No, I know. And distance as well. And <laughs> yeah, they, yeah. But they are sort of reusable as well. Yeah. And, well, and I'm I have a little... question. Yes, I'm sorry. Yes, sir. Because yes, sir. I, I haven't seen the show and I, I've heard about gotta. the show. Is it you're in one town and they're all coming, or are you are you mobile like we were talking about being mobile? Yeah, we're sort of moving around. Oh, you are okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, and the second season, we have to leave Atlanta because Atlanta's fallen. Basically, Atlanta so, is yeah. where it happens. Yeah, it's all oh. shot. Yeah, it's Jimmy all... Norton's going to be in Atlanta. Oh, I'm flying there right after the show to do stand up. Yeah, this will be terrific. I hope all the ones that they killed show up to my show. And I make bonus. Oh, okay. So there you are, kind of mobile. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. the uh, the uh, Atlanta scene was great too, and. Uh, 
that whole thing went oh, down. Yeah. Just the, the, the big the explosion and oh, uh, it's madness. Yeah, 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 and insane. It looks, it just looks like you're watching a movie, which is great. It well, that, that was the intention. Yeah, they, they wanted to, the scale and the scope, and they wanted to, for people to be able to watch it on a DVD set and watch it. I mean, I know a few people. My hairdresser, mm -hmm. weirdly, just went. I watched the whole first season in one go. You know. Yeah, you could do that because it's like you're watching. I can't believe I'm mentioning my hairdresser. <laughs> yeah, look at you. Check me out. <laughs> oh, nothing wrong. That's somebody who's very, you're very secure in yeah, yourself. That's, yeah, you're very glamorous. Very comfortable now. with my hairdresser. <laughs> yeah, you can mention it. Uh, could you get it on demand? Cause I'll actually, I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll watch it. I'll just. Yeah, yeah. It's it's fantastic. You definitely should uh should search it out and get it. Um, the characters too are are great. You got some really good actors on there, yeah. and the the kid that plays your son, yeah, he's, is he is amazing. How old is he? He's he turned eleven this season. He has got he's gone from the point of being this like you know a little innocent kid yeah. to now it's almost hard to watch <laughs> how cut off he is from any type yeah, of emotion cold, and yeah. just cold and. You know, uh, it's, you, it's, it's, he's a, he is, we are so, so lucky to have that kid. I mean, it's, yeah. a, it's a huge part. But Chandler Riggs is just breathtaking, man. He's, yeah, he's yeah. the real deal. And he, he we, you know, whenever you were getting a bit like, oh, is, how am I going to do this scene? You just kind of listen to the kid. And he's just seamless. Yeah. How long did it take you guys to Amazing. shoot a season? Because like, when you looked at Lost, they had the kid who played Walt, and he was very good. But then he, <laughs> they took him a long time to shoot a season, so he grew. Yeah. How long do you guys shoot for it's a season? The, it's the same sort of thing. We do five months for a season, <clears throat> and, you know, he's a, he's a growing lad. I had to carry him. Oh, yeah, for yeah. Like, with the, for, for two weeks. And, he, you know, I was trying to drag him away from craft service going, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've got to carry I've this kid. Carry you, and, yeah. I, and I put my back out, actually. <laughs> and I was like, I remember being at home and I was crawling. My wife came back and just, and she saw, I, I literally, I was crawling to the bathroom. And I was like, and I came and she said, what the hell happened? I went, oh, you in the Chandler Riggs. I was just, and, and I said, when's my action figure coming out? Has, yeah. he, got, has, he, got, has he got a crawl mode? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? When, when, uh, a couple, like two weeks and he's going to be bigger, and then a month yeah. he'll be bigger. So I guess the carrying scenes, uh, yeah. that's about it. Huh? No, but he is, he, we're so blessed to have him, and he's, he's wiser than his years. He's, like, he, he's a 30-year-old trapped in a it kid's body. It really he's is. Brilliant. He's done a great job of changing. All of you guys have uh, done a really good job of, of just slowly changing the the character that's got to be mm. tough too you can't just go into it going oh this is who this person is because uh, uh what's his name your, your partner there yeah john who <laughs> plays john bernthal yeah plays shane yeah he's, uh, he's shane. Gone on a huge he went journey. like completely <laughs> bad shit and uh but it's a it's a great storyline yeah. and you know and he stood my wife and yes yes he did uh, well they thought he was dead yeah, with two yeah. weeks. Oh. Nice. Two weeks. Two weeks. Yeah. Yeah. She didn't wait Come long on. to start fucking, did she? No. Some tells me you there was a few problems in the marriage. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Satellite's fantastic. Yeah. Uh, some tells me there was some problems in the marriage beforehand. There were. Yeah, you know, okay, okay. I think, you know, you were taking that job a little yeah, more, maybe, more no, serious right. than the marriage. And in a zombie you really world. Oh, show, I love man. the show. It's in a zombie fantastic. world, you probably fuck quicker because you know that you could be killed very quickly. <laughs> so the grieving process is probably shorter. It could be, Jim. You, instead of waiting a year, it's like, all right, he's dead. Yeah, he's still he's warm. sped up a little bit. Yeah, yeah I, imagine, <laughs> I imagine that's the way it is. Uh, Wait till you watch it. I, I really gonna, want yeah. Because I'd heard so many things about John, it. I think John might be a bit upset if you, if, if you said that to him. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't, if, if, if she had sex with him two weeks after she thought you were dead, that is yeah. an inappropriately short amount of time. However, However, in the zombie culture, in the zombie, zombie world, culture, you don't know. anything goes. Could be dead it's tomorrow. Understandable. In that, uh, that world. Did you live in the states when you auditioned for it? Were you already here acting? No, I was in. Um I was uh, in London. How did they go? Like, did they go through a whole bunch of uh, rounds of uh, auditions here and not find what they want and say, "Look, we have to, we have to start looking over in Europe." Yeah, I think that well, I was attached to a, a film, and my son was um, uh, was born a little bit early, and um, so I had to. I pulled out of this film. And so up until that point, uh, I hadn't read any of these scripts, so they saw that I was available and they sent me the breakdown. And I'm oh. sure the only reason I got the gig was because, you know, my son had just been born. I hadn't slept for two oh. weeks. <laughs> yeah, and I looked like I survived a zombie. You looked a little haggard, yeah. yeah. Were you a little concerned? <laughs> you were concerned so you wanted to not do the gig or, or you wanted to just take time to be with him? Yeah, just take, take oh, time okay. out. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's great because there's no real set bad guys and good guys in your group no, that's it's it. like everyone's got a little bit of each and like you said shane has taken this uh 
his character in a, a completely different direction. But even him, I'm not looking at him going, oh, he's turned completely bad. No, that's like that, he's uh, yeah. in in that world. He's making perfect sense. That's, he he killed this character Otis, and but he yeah. saved my son. What so, a great he, scene that was. He's he's yeah. got this guy Otis with him. They need some uh, medis, uh, medical equipment uh, to save his son who has been accidentally shot. And they go to this place to get this this gear, and as they're leaving, they're just overrun by these zombies. So they're trying to outrun him, and this Otis guy's a little rotund. He's having a little bit of a tough right. time. Uh, uh, Shane has the medical equipment, and he looks and just pops Otis in the leg. Otis goes down. Shane continues running, and the zombies just Wah! he used him as bait. bait. That's well, you just know what? To fucking get away. He, let's be honest. He was probably tired of looking at fat Otis <laughs> just lumping around the camp. I don't blame him one bit. <laughs> I didn't cool. either. Because when it happened, instead of going, "Oh, poor Otis," everyone went, "Yes, what a great idea!" Yeah, that's right. Yeah. You know, so so uh, times like like that. It's, you take it in the context of this zombie-overridden world and yeah. say, you know, he's doing what he needs to do. Oh. Uh, in, in the episode, uh, the premiere, you in the bar with oh, uh, yeah, yeah. those two yeah. strangers that came in, that was badass, by yeah, the way. I know. Do you watch those? I don't, uh, and, no, and I, just, don't, I don't watch myself. You don't watch yourself? No. Have just you seen the episodes or not? That. No, I don't watch myself. Oh, I don't Just either. watch that scene. No, you know no, how no. badass I, 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 you I, look? I lived it. I lived you it. You whipped around. Yeah, itchy trigger finger. Boom, boom, behind you, and then you got to polish the guy off in the noggin. <laughs> God, it was I, great. I know. But why don't you watch yourself? Like, don't you, aren't you curious like, what take they might? I mean, I kind of understand why you wouldn't. But like, say they do a couple different takes. Are you ever curious as to how it finally came out? Or No, I just enjoy the, the acting part. Yeah. Are you self-conscious? Wow. Yeah, I think <laughs> when yeah. That, well, what happened is that I've been working for sort of 18 years, and the first five years, it, you watch yourself, and you sort of go, oh, I like it when I do that. Then, hey, I look kind of sexy when I do that. Da -da -da -da. And then you start getting... Or certainly I did. I just oh. went. I started sort of going, stopping myself and being really, you know. You don't uh, want to turn into the Fonz. Well, you know what I mean. You were thinking of how it was going to look. Yeah, I, you, hey. become, you, become, you become very di directorial. It's a, ah. it's a real problem. You see lots of people become pastiches of themselves. You know, they turn into a caricature of uh -huh. their own performances. And I just decided that I would get myself out of the equation and just thought, I love just doing the acting side. And wow. let's, not, um, let's not censor. So, um, damn, that, uh, are you a good listener when you act? Work. I, I was, I'm obsessed with when I talk to like real actors because it's so hard to listen when you're acting. That's, yeah, that's, that's that, that is, that is absolutely, that's all it is. It's reacting. My, my acting coach has said, that's it. You've got to listen and react. Jimmy, you've got to listen and react. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, he's like, a little what? bit quicker, hopefully. What? <laughs> so you don't watch yourself? I'm always late. Like I come back. <laughs> I always ruin scenes by coming in late. Yeah. I'm fascinated with that. Well, I, although I did do a French film, and I, I speak very, very little fr uh, French. You know, I speak sort of chalet French. You can, I can order a baguette. You know, and and, uh, yeah. and I just found myself being in scenes waiting. <laughs> for people to finish, you know what I mean? Like, I, it's the worst acting I've ever your done. Your turn, going, my turn. Your turn, my okay, turn. Okay, they want me to speak now. <laughs> yeah. So wait, you you actually spoke in French? Yeah, that's gotta be difficult. It was the most terrifying thing I have ever done, and wow. I kept, and then I did it again. Do I you know one of your French lines? Films. Can you say one of your lines that you remember? Uh, no, I don't remember. <laughs> did you did you actually take take French to do it or no? No, I sort of uh, yeah, oh. learnt it phonetically. Very wow! Uh, how the hell do you do that? Yeah, it was crazy. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah, it was. It was stupid. And I kept phoning <laughs> people back home, going, "Why am I doing this to myself? <laughs> how good are you? This fucking guy gets a, a movie in a language that he can't speak. <laughs> I can't get cast in a commercial here for tampons. <laughs> That's a great actor, man. Oh, that is God. a great actor. It's hilarious. <laughs> wow, that is fast. Man. Well, they're, they're telling us in our. Yeah. Yeah. that we have to wrap you because you have other press. Andrew is a busy, busy man as uh, far well, as uh, the show goes. I've, I've loved talking to you guys. Andrew, so thank you for watching the show, man. I, I, I'd love to have you on again. Uh, yeah, you know, I'm, a, I'm a huge fan of the show. It's fantastic. It's uh, obviously The Walking Dead. Sundays on uh, AMC at 9 p.m. Uh, this season, I mean, from the premiere there, it's shaping up to be amazing. I, I love the show. Thank you Great so job, much. Man. Thank the you. next time you're here, I will be caught up on this on the the series because I yeah. really want to see it. And good luck in Atlanta as well. I'm sure it's going to be terrific. <laughs> yeah, just me and six fucking bored people in a room <laughs> watching me tap dance for an hour, ten minutes, <laughs> like a zilch. Uh, <laughs> all right, everybody. I guess uh, you know, we're done. Any any uh, plugs? You're good. Uh, Atlanta right. tonight, tomorrow, uh, Saturday at the Punchline, and then next weekend I'm at the Fort Lauderdale Improv. So uh, and have a great safe trip. I won't see you till yeah. you're back. Oh yeah. Okay. 
Yo, you're not here tomorrow. Yeah. I am, though. Yeah. So we'll, uh, everybody else, we'll see you tomorrow again. Uh, Andrew, thank you so much. It's a pleasure. Very cool. The Opie and Anthony Show. Sirius XM.